We felt there was really two needs beyond Widen's capabilities that the API would provide us some more flexibility. One was creating a, an interface on our website for press and media to go to, to be able to look through hand-picked assets that we wanted to show on that site and allow them to download um, right, right off the bat. And so, you know, it's not, it's not everything that's in Widen, it's just a, it's just a handful of, of shots that we can kind of, we can, we can hand pick. They'll be able to go and, and order through a light box directly from our website. They'll still have the option of, of calling us and saying, hey, you know, we want something that's more unique or different that no one else has had, but this will, this will help us to reduce the, the amount of calls and emails that we get. And then on the other side, we have an upload API that we're building out that's gonna give us some really good flexibility uh, because our external users are not really registered users and, and widen they're, they're interacting through the API. The idea is to give them a, a quick and easy place. Say, hey, go to neworleansonline.com slash uploads. Just upload your images there and, and you know, we'll take it from there. Because a lot of cameras have the same exact um, you know, image uh, name um, and we're working with a variety of different folks, you know, the API will allow us to rename those on the fly and then, and then upload them to the system. Um, in addition to that, there were some other, other things that we felt we could fine tune with uh, globally applying meta tag data and then fine tuning on an individual basis. So while, while Widen is, is fantastic and, and you know, uh, its, it's capabilities right out the box, we just thought you know, the upload API gave us a few more uh, additional capabilities.